Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Purchasing calamari steaks is the only way to go if you want tender calamari. This was $5.99 a pound, and I bought over five pounds. But of course today we're just gonna take two steaks. As you can see, they're frozen. They'll stand up like a card house. Okay, maybe they won't. But look, they're solid. This is how you get them when you order them. They're just frozen steaks, so we need to thaw them out. The best way to do that is put them in some cold water. Let them sit for a little while underneath the cold running sink. Once you've thawed them out, you're going to put them in a strainer. You want to do this because you need the moisture gone so the marinade will stick to it and the batter will stick to that as well. So just drip dry them in a bowl until all the juice and stickiness is gone from the calamari steaks. Then you can take your sharp knife to them. So you can see here, I'm just slicing them into french fry sized slices. That's all you need to do. Chop them all thinly in a nice pile like this. Now for the marinade, we'll crack an egg in here. Now you're going to want to take the yolk out, but I need it for other purposes. Pour some oil, and then the seasoning is going to be a little bit of uh, garlic powder and ginger powder. Going to throw in some soy. Just a little bit. And then we're going to thicken this up here with some cornstarch. You're going to need more than what I'm putting in here, but you need to add just a little bit of a time. Whip it, add some more, whip it again, until you get a nice smooth consistency. Ta-da! See? Nice and smooth. Now pour it generously over the top. Well, not generously, just a little bit. You don't want it completely soaked and soggy, but just to where you can mix it thoroughly and get it through all of the calamari like this. While that's marinating, we'll move on to the oil with some rice noodle. Throw that rice noodle in there and dunk it with your spoon so it's sure to cook all of it thoroughly, because this just poofs right up. You don't want to burn it, so you need to pull it out, let it drip dry, and then we'll plate it. Plating it's no big deal, just spread it out evenly. The calamari is going to go over the top of this. Once the calamari is marinated, we're going to sift through some potato starch. Corn starch is fine if you don't have the potato starch. Just make sure you get all the lumps out so you can coat the calamari evenly. And when you fry it, you're not biting into any lumpy, starchy, powdery, icky, grossy, yucky. You get the point. Just make sure that it's evenly coated, top and bottom. You're going to mix it back and forth. You're going to do this several times until there's no more sticky, wet calamari. Coat it very evenly, just like chicken. Just like this. Into the fryer we go at 375 degrees. Now this looks dangerous, I know, doing it with my hand instead of lifting the basket out, just setting it all in at once. But the reason you do it this way is so you can pinch away the parts evenly and spread it out so it doesn't stick. The parts that do stick you can lift out with a spoon like this and make sure that they're separating until they're ready to be pulled out. Much like french fries, you need them hot when you season them. So we'll throw in some scallions and this pre-made salt and pepper mixture I've got here made from margarita salt. Use margarita salt so it doesn't murder your palate when you're tasting the calamari. Give it a good toss is all you need to do. And then you can plate it right over the top of that fried rice noodle, just like that. For the dipping sauce, you got black bean garlic sauce, and we've got orange chili sauce. We're also going to go ahead and use some hoisin. Mixing these three together, one part, one part, one part, makes an excellent dipping sauce for the salt and pepper calamari. But in all fairness, 
You might want to go easy on the bean curd if you're not used to bold flavors like this. And there you have it. Salt and pepper calamari here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.